Hello fellow football connoisseurs and welcome back to the quick take. Before I get started, thank you all so much for watching my breakdown on Victor Osman. If you haven't already, go check it out on the channel. It's now live. I've been working on it for weeks and so any support will be greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoy that video. We have lots of news to get in today or at least we have some news to get in today. Uh, we have an update regarding Messinho William Esteval, the Palmeiras wonder kid once again linked to Chelsea who have been allegedly scouting him since October according to Fabrizio Romano. We have an update regarding the new front of shirt sponsorship and how much we will be able to make from that deal potentially uh, and even a small little update regarding Conor Gallagher and even an update regarding Nogsman and Eden Hazard of all players. But before I get into all of that, I'll have to quickly remind you, I'm running a giveaway with ownersaber.com. We're at 15,000 subscribers. I'm giving away three King of London lightsabers. All you need to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and then check the pinned comment down below for more information. Getting straight into the news regarding Messinho, also known as Esteval. Willian, Willian Esteval, one of those. We have this coming in from CFC Pies, reported by of reporting from Fabrizio Romano. Chelsea keep following Esteval Willian constantly. Scouts have been traveling to watch him since October 2023. Release clause is 51 million pounds for 16 year old. No concrete negotiations yet. That is coming in from Fabrizio Romano. And then we have a further update regarding Esteval Willian here. Esteval Willian's release clause is around 60 million euros. Chelsea, other top clubs and scouts are following him. Chelsea appreciates him, but there are no negotiations at this moment. Of course, the year is still young. We are still quite a way away from the summer transfer window. But Esteval Willian is, of course, well, he falls in line with Chelsea's current approach to buying young, investing in young talents, hoping to get the next Neymar and then selling them on for profit or at least having a very strong team come 2029. Uh, we also have this short piece, short piece from Endrick that I'd just like to quickly cover here. Uh, I was attracted by the Premier League, the city of London and the fact that English is the economically dominant language in the world very mature from a 16, 17 year old wonder kid. Uh, and <laughs> it's like Jane Smith. Can we talk about the political and economic state of the world right now? This is what Hendrik's doing right now. Uh, <laughs> and obviously Chelsea is a strong brand that has won two Champions League trophies. Yes, we have. This once again annoys me because we have obviously gone down the route of buying young, trying to get all the best young talent in the world at Chelsea Football Club from a very, uh, from a very early age. And the big one that we missed out on, the main star in world football right now, who's going to Real Madrid, is Endrick and we had him in the palm of our hands now I agree 60 million euros for a 16 year old is a lot of money however if you really want to go down the route of breaching yourselves into this market and showing that you you mean business and really investing money and really putting all your stocks into buying young players, then you have to follow through with players like Endrick, who will be the next big thing in world football. Now, this may come as a controversial take. I've had a few of those recently, and I have been reading the comments, but I think that we missed out big time in not signing Endrick. Of course, he did score against England uh, in the Brazil match against England uh, at Wembley. Uh, fantastic, well, start for Endrick. Um, still just getting started again, 16 17 years old and missing out on a player like him because we didn't want to I think Todd Bowley bottled this deal we had it all ready ready to go and we didn't do it because he didn't want to create inflation regarding the young player market I just don't understand that way of thinking because he was going to go to a club anyway for that fee may as well let him go to Chelsea uh, he's gone to Real Madrid anyway and the youngster market has inflated massively again Estevar Willian 60 million euro release clause so it's the exact same as Endrick and if I had to pick between Endrick and Estevar Willian I'm gonna go with Endrick but we missed out on that and I really think that you know we we missed out big time on uh, not getting Endrick and he's probably going to do amazing things when he goes to Real Madrid in a few years time but again Chelsea are once again keeping a very close eye on Estevao Willian enough of that we also have an update regarding Chelsea's new front of shirt sponsor potentially next season this coming in from uh, NAWAF Ogre on Twitter reported by Chelsea Dodgers negotiations are progressing between Chelsea and Riyadh Airlines to become the new shirt sponsor for next season now Riyadh Airlines currently are the front of shirt sponsor for Atletico Madrid of course they and we have it here from Sports Pro Media that they're raking in around 40 million euros per year now I'd imagine Chelsea will ask for 
for a little bit more from um, Riyadh Air for them to become our front of shirt sponsor. Of course, Chelsea's current deal with Infinite Athlete, which is just for one year as our front of shirt sponsor. And then if I remember correctly, they then go to a, sh a sleeve sponsor, which we'll get into just a minute. But at the moment, they're paying us 40 million euros, which is around... 47 million uh, 40 million pounds which sorry which is around 46 47 million euros per season so again we wouldn't be looking to try and reduce the amount of money we're getting from a sponsor, especially a Riyadh Air. Um, so I do think Chelsea will be looking for around 45 to even 50 million pounds per season from Riyadh Air for to become the front of shirt sponsor next season. Of course, Chelsea do have Bing X on our shirt sleeve, which will be um, Infinite Athlete from next season, if I remember correctly. And they currently pay us around 10 million a season. So right there, that's 55, nearly 60 million pounds alone just from the front of shirt sponsor and the, sh and the sleeve sponsor. It just goes to show you how important it is to get those high places in the Premier League and get into Europe. Of course, we will, if we don't get Europa League, we will be missing out on the Air Jordan sponsorship, which not only will they create amazingly beautiful kits for us, but they will pay us quite handsomely around, I think they get, I think PSG currently get around 60, 70 million euros per season just from the Air Jordan deal that they signed. So lots and lots of money at stake regarding Chelsea's future, whether we can get into that European spot. We also have an update regarding Conor Gallagher. Now, of course, I did mention this earlier, but here we go. Conor Gallagher. Tottenham are preparing to table an early summer bid worth around 30 to 40 million pounds for Chelsea midfielder Conor Gallagher, and a deal could be done by the 30th of June. Now, we have heard for the past few weeks that Chelsea are in big trouble with FFP and that we need to raise around 100 million pounds, even more than 100 million pounds, before the 30th of June. And Conor Gallagher is linked with a heavy move away. Of course, he's we are we're at an impasse with what he wants for his contract. Hundred and fifty thousand pounds per week is the uh, estimated maximum we're willing to go. Apparently, he wants more than that, or at least that, and we're not willing to give him that. Um, and it looks like Chelsea could be able to cash in on him for around forty million pounds once again. A linked away with a move to Spurs and this could really be an attractive move for the Chelsea owners of course in trouble with the FFP pure profit 40 million pounds basically halves what we need to make but before the 30th of June with players like Trevor Chalaber linked with the move away we're going to get 4 million from Fulham just for the loan because he hasn't played so that's 4 million there and we're also going to look to try and move them on, maybe maybe 15, 20 million pounds in the summer. Then we've only got to raise, you know, 30, 40 million pounds. Of course, then you've got to remember, Ian Matson has a release clause, 35 million pounds. And Lewis Hall is on his way to Newcastle for around 30 million pounds guaranteed. So, you know, it really, we just need to focus on Gallagher, Broya and Chalaba for the sales coming into the summer. And we should be okay. And then, uh, just to finish up the video, we have these two short news stories coming in here from Romano. The president of DFB uh, confirms desire to extend Julian Nagelsmann's contract. We have to talk to each other and I'm very confident that we will quickly reach a result. Nagelsmann wants to find a solution before the Euros and we will respect his wish. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean he's going to continue with Germany uh, to find a solution for his future. That could mean, you know, agreeing a deal with the club he would join after the Euros and... Uh, I think we all know my stance regarding Nagelsmann. I think it's a fantastic coach. And we saw this against France, of course, going up within, what, nine, ten seconds with a fantastic bit of play from Cruz, who he brought into the uh, Germany squad, if I remember correctly. Cruz wasn't supposed to be in the Germany squad. Nagelsmann looked at his profile. He looked at his age, his experience, and how valuable he could be. And he brought him back into the Germany squad. And, of course, who got the assist for the goal? Of course, a beautiful Florian Vert strike. Tony Cruz. Fantastic masterclass from Julian Nagelsmann in the Germany side. It'd be amazing to see what he could do at a club. Uh, of course, he was fantastic at uh, RB Leipzig, Hoffenheim, and then Bayern Munich. And a lot of Bayern Munich fans, fans were frustrated, just as we were frustrated when uh, Tuchel was sacked at Chelsea. They were frustrated when Nagelsmann was sacked at uh, Bayern Munich. And then, to finish up the video, we have this from Sam C. Reports. Eden Hazard will be one of the Premier League Hall of Fame nominees set to be announced tomorrow. What a legend. I'm so happy he is going down as a, as a Hall of Fame inductee. Fantastic player. What a player Eden Hazard was. It's so sad how his career ended, but he will always have a place at Stamford Bridge. And that about wraps up today's video. Again, let me know your thoughts on Estevan Willian. 60 million euros, yes or no? To me, I think we should have spent that money on Endrick. I wouldn't go I wouldn't go above 40 million euros for Estevan Willian, maybe 45 million, but we do have players like Kendrick Pires coming through, so there's that. 
Let me know your thoughts on Conor Gallagher, Riyad Air, how much you think we'll get per season from then. If you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Quick Take, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.